But we need to do more in the way of efficiency too, because that is the smartest and quickest payback, and that's something the government can't restrict us from doing. Efficiency is in our control, each of us as individuals. Let me give you an example. Again, I talked about building our house. As far back as Jimmy Carter's fireside chat, talking about how energy and the need for energy efficiency was so important. And he had on that cardigan sweater, remember, how long ago that was that we started talking about how important it is. Well, that hit home to me. That hit home to me when Lynn and I built our house. And we built it ourselves. We moved in with my parents and we built the house with our own hands. And because we could do that, and my parents uh, put up with us for about nine months while we lived in their house, and I was working at the bank during the day and I'd go home at night and on weekends I'd work on the house. And it was my labor and Linda's labor. We could do things maybe that cost more uh, in terms of labor, but it really wasn't a cost because I was contributing my labor free, of course. So my house on the farm is super insulated. Our walls are 13 inches thick. It's a two by four wall, a six inch space, and another two by four wall. And that's all full of insulation. We have a heat pump water heater. When summertime comes and the humidity goes up, we shut off the electric resistance water heater, or we only use it as backup, and turn on the heat pump water heater. And that cools and dehumidifies our basement Instead of dumping the waste heat outside, as most air-to-air -air heat pumps do, it dumps the heat in the water heater. So my electricity bill goes down when I cool my house, not up. We, uh, we also designed the house with no west windows, because on a hot summer day, that western sun beating in those west windows can really warm up your house. We don't have a single west-facing window. Our north window, we have one, a very small north window, because a north window is an energy loser. Most of our windows are on the south, and our overhang is designed for our latitude. Our latitude, I'm, I want to say it's 43 or 44 degrees above the equator. Um, our our uh, latitude is such that in the summer, or in the winter, our sun is lower in the sky. You know this. How many of you have hog houses or old hog houses that have all those south facing windows, some of them on the roof? That's why that low face, uh, that low hanging winter sun comes in our house in the winter. In the summer, when the sun is almost straight overhead, the overhang shades it. And as we get closer and closer to winter, more and more sun enters our house. And as we get closer to spring and summer, the sun gradually moves out our house. Uh, it has a very tight air vapor barrier and, a, and a, a heat exchanger brings in air from the outside and the outside air streaming in passes outgoing air streaming out through a series of straws and those straws give up the heat from the interior air to the incoming exterior air so we don't lose heat as we get needed ventilation for fresh air in the house. Those are things we can do. Obviously, not everybody's building a house, but as you think about things you do to your home, or you see uh, building construction around you, or your children or grandchildren build their homes, make them aware that energy efficiency is a way we can improve our energy future in South Dakota.